Hi everyone. Are you a mom that is caught in this heart-wrenching tug of war with your adult child? Because if you've ever wondered whether your support of them is maybe a lifeline or is it a trap? You know, this video will be your guide because I want you to discover there's some game-changing insights here that can transform your approach from maybe one that is of enabling to more of an empowerment. And so stay tuned because it's time for you as a mom to reclaim your own role and reignite hope into your relationship. So some may say it's easier to enable because helping takes more time and effort. And so today we're gonna to dive into that. For those of you that are brand new to my channel, I just wanna welcome you. My name is Sally Harris, and I'm a mom who walked this difficult road with my own daughter for over a decade. And so I get you, and I'm really glad you're here today. Um, let's talk about what exactly do we mean by helping versus enabling? Well, helping is helping involves providing support that encourages growth, responsibility, and self-sufficiency in our adult kids, right? Or anyone for that matter. It's about offering that hand, hand up. Like, hey, I'm here to help you. I'm gonna guide you, and I'm gonna give you some resources that are going to help you grow and that journey towards independence and personal development, right? That's helping. Enabling, on the other hand, is when our well-intentioned support as a mom inadvertently reinforces like negative behaviors. It unintentionally can even shield our adult children from consequences of their actions, which sometimes you might be doing and maybe you're doing it and don't even realize it. And so we want to make sure that, you know, they are taking responsibility for their own choices here. And so sometimes enabling can inhibit their own growth. And I know that's never your intention. And so that's why I want to talk about this because I think it's super important. So now that we've set that stage, what is the difference between helping and enabling? You know, there's a quote by Dave Ramsey. It says, it's harder to help than to enable because it requires more effort, energy, and time, which is crazy, right? It's so true though. It's really easy to just offer a handout because it doesn't take that effort, energy, and time. So, but here's the twist because enabling, like I said, can seem easier than helping because enabling might provide like I said, temporary relief from conflict that they have in their life or immediate stress. You know, where helping can definitely require more time of yours as well as effort and some tough choices and making some decisions on what you are going to help with. And so, but in the long run, it's important to remember that enabling can almost perpetuate a cycle of dependence on you as a mom and it hinders their growth, right? So let's talk about the impact of, of both and a couple of examples here. So the impact of helping, well, it facilitates their growth, right? When you could offer genuine help to someone, especially your child, you're providing them with tools and guidance and the need uh, to help them, right? Like to overcome challenges. We're helping them overcome challenges that maybe they really don't have the tools to do that on their own yet. Maybe they're at that age or they just haven't learned it or haven't had the opportunity. So really that can help them emotionally, psychologically, and personally, right? So it helps them feel good about themselves and it encourages them to come become confident and independent, you know, uh, individuals. And so empowerment is another one, a big one. It helps empower your children to take ownership of their own actions and decisions. So that can be a great side effect of that is great self-esteem, right? Because they can feel like they have that sense of control over their own life, which is crucial for their own um, adulthood. Adulthood. So, and then lastly, um, another one of helping is strengthening your relationship. So as we provide, you could say constructive, you know, assistance to them, Maybe you're creating an environment of trust and understanding like, hey, I understand where you're coming from. I was there and I know how hard it is. So I'm gonna help you take these steps. Um, so healthy helping can reinforce that child and parent bond and promote you know, usually open communication, right? Because then there's that trust. So that really definitely helps. Um, impact of enabling on the other hand, we can stunt our children's growth which none of you are looking to do, I know you're not, but enabling can hinder you know, emotional and psychological growth um, by preventing them from facing consequences 
of their own actions. Yeah, that's a big one. It really is. You know, there's consequences that maybe you have as, as a family member, but there's consequences of the law and just in this world, right? And so we can create this sheltered environment where they don't learn any important life lessons or coping skills, which is even worse, right? Another one is dependency. It's another impact of enabling. You know, it fosters this unhealthy dependency in that they they, they're going to tend to rely on you to resolve all their problems. So they're not going to learn anything through it. They're just going to look to you to solve everything. And as you continue to do that, we're hindering their ability to be confident, right? And self-sufficient. I always ask my mom, it's like, what happens if you weren't here? What happens if God forbid something happened to you? Then where are they going to stand, right? So another one is strained relationships because enabling can definitely strain, even though you feel like you're doing all these great things for your child, it's going to strain your relationship because the time you say no, everything's going to hit the fan. And I think you know that it might be the reason why you're not stopping. So the dynamic dynamics of rescuing and avoiding conflict, it just leads to a strained relationship over time. So there's a balance, right? There's a balance between helping and enabling. There's a positive impact. You know, helping has this potential to positively impact their growth and self-esteem and their own relationships outside of the family, right? Having that balance of helping and enabling is by having healthy boundaries. So we want to have those clear boundaries when helping so that they understand, you know, even though you're providing something that this is, you know, this is what the future is going to look like. This is what I'm going to do this time. But then in the future, we're going to do X, Y, Z. Um, and just keeping that line of communication open is just crucial. So, you know, there's two examples here I want to share with you. One is financial support. That's probably the biggest one that I see moms do. And imagine, you know, if there's a situation where you, um, adult child is asking for money, right? So your, your son or daughter is asking for money to cover bills and expenses or whatnot but they often find themselves in trouble and you might even be able to pinpoint it, right? So it's due to poor budgeting or overspending. Well, if you have to make a decision at, at that point in time, should you continue to provide money whenever asked or you know, to relieve their stress at the moment, but actually what you're doing is perpetuating this cycle of irresponsible spending, right? So we're, by, by providing financial support, we're not helping the problem. And example two is relationship issues. So there's an, you know, another scenario would be where you have a child who's in a relationship with someone and maybe they're always seeking your advice. They're always seeking to get your advice or your, um, you want, they want you to feel sorry for them after every argument or something after they have you know, with their significant other. Well, then you face a dilemma. Do I continue a listening ear and advice or this relationship is very unhealthy and emotionally draining, right? So you have to make a decision on how you're going to, whether you're going to enable that or you're going to, you know, help. But if this video has given you some value at all in this journey, would you, would you just hit like and subscribe to my channel? I would greatly appreciate that. That helps me help so many more moms. And so I appreciate that. Um, you know, really in both of these scenarios, moms are confronted with these challenges and it can be very difficult. And so I totally understand um, how difficult that can be. So for those of you that I have not had a consultation with yet, if you're looking to really dive in and, and learn more about how you can help yourself and you're ready to do the work, I want you to hit the discovery call link below because that's a consultation where we talk for 30 minutes and I get to know you and you get to know me better and I can share with you how I can help in your specific situation. So I look forward to talking to you soon and I'll see you in the next video.